air which this experiment is to determine the thickness of a given thin wire or thin strip of paper using interference pattern formed by air which between two glass plates materials and apparatus required are two optically plane rectangular glass plates a traveling microscope a sodium vapor lamp 45 degree inclined glass plates thin wire or thin strip of paper a very thin wedge shaped air film can be formed by placing a thin piece of paper between two glass plates l1 and l2 at one end b with the glass plates in contact at the other end a as shown here by illuminating the air film normally using a monochromatic light straight bright and dark fringes are formed which are parallel to the line of intersection a of the two glass plates so the image is as shown this is the view of the fringes that's it so this is the view of the fringes as observed in the eye piece of your traveling microscope if the eye is in a position to see the reflected image of the lamp the image will not be continuous but will be made up of dark and bright fringes this is due to the interference between the light waves reflected from the glass plate on top and bottom surfaces of the air which these rays have traveled different distances and meet at the eye in phase or out of phase depending upon the thickness of the air film so next we will see about the procedure to perform the experiment first step is to form an air which by holding two optically plane glass plates in contact using rubber band at one end and place the given thin material near the other end parallel to the edges of contact the second step is to place this air which set inside the wooden box which has thin glass plate inclined at 45 degree keep the whole setup on the horizontal bed plate of a traveling microscope now adjust the air which setup in such a way that the light from sodium vapor lamp is made to fall vertically on the air which the thickness of the wedge shaped air film increases as the distance from the edge of contact of the glass plate increases consequently a large number of equally spaced bright and dark fringes are formed these fringes are parallel to the edge of contact adjust the microscope to obtain a clear view of the interference fringes focus the microscope on to the fringes and adjust to make the vertical cross wire to coincide with the center of one of the dark fringe as shown so now we have placed the cross wire on one dark fringe so let us consider this as n so we will note down the traveling microscope reading for this fringe note down the microscope reading in the horizontal scale so if we see the young's modulus experiment we would have used the vertical scales that is the vertical main scale and the vertical vernier scale for noting down the reading whereas for the case of this experiment we are going to use the horizontal main scale and the horizontal vernier scale but the procedure for taking the reading is the same as mentioned in both uh, in the case of your young's modulus experiment and the reading that is seen here is 3.4 for msr and your vsc value is 49 now we are going to move the fine adjustment screw and take the cross wire to your n plus third fringe so if we start from the nth fringe we are going to count as shown after noting down the reading of the main scale and the vernier scale we'll now 
adjust the screw that is the fine adjustment screw and move to the n plus third fringe so let me count now so n n plus 1 n plus 2 n plus 3 so now we are placing the cross wire on the n plus third fringe and again we are going to note down the main scale reading and the vernier scale coincidence here your main scale reading is 3.45 and your vernier scale coincidence is 42 now we are going to adjust the fine adjustment screw and make your cross wire coincide on your n plus sixth fringe n plus 4 n plus 5 n plus 6 now the readings are 3.5 for your main scale reading and your vernier scale coincidence is 45 next we will move to the n plus 9th fringe n plus 7 n plus 8 and n plus 9 the reading now is 3.55 and 40 we move to the n plus 12th fringe wherein the MSR reading is 3.6 and your VSC is 45. Next is N plus 15th fringe for which the MSR is 3.65 and your VSC is 44. Like this we are going to continue up till your N plus 33rd fringe and note down your MSR and VSC. This is the tabular column to determine the mean width of one band. So we have placed the cross wire on the nth fringe and we have noted down the MSR and VSC readings. So for the nth fringe MSR is 3.4 centimeters and VSC is 49 divisions. Likewise, for the n plus third fringe, the MSR value is 3.45 and VSC is 42 divisions. For n plus sixth fringe, the MSR is 3.5 and VSC is 45 divisions. n plus ninth fringe, the MSR is 3.55 centimeters and VSC is 40 divisions. For the n plus twelfth fringe, MSR is 3.6 and VSC is 45 divisions. For the N plus 15th fringe, MSR is 3.65 and VSC is 44 division. For the N plus 18th fringe, MSR is 3.7 cm and VSC is 41 divisions. For the N plus 21st fringe, MSR is 3.75 cm and VSC is 40 divisions. For the N plus 24th fringe, MSR is 3.8 cm and the VSC is 39 divisions. For the N plus 27th fringe, MSR is 3.85 cm and VSC is 35 divisions. N plus 30th fringe, the MSR is 3.9 cm and VSC is 40 divisions. And finally, for the N plus 33rd fringe, MSR is 3.95 cm and VSC is 36 divisions. Now, the next step is to calculate VSR is equal to VSC into LC and finally the calculation of total reading which is equal to MSR plus VR. So VSR, so we have shown the calculation for the nth fringe alone here. So the calculation is repeated for all the fringes and then the width of 18 bands is calculated by Performing a subtraction of the reading obtained for n plus 18 and the nth fringe. Likewise, we are going to subtract the readings obtained for n plus 21 and n plus 3 in order to obtain the width of 18 bands. So, once we obtain the width of 18 bands, we are going to average these values and divide the averaged value by 18 in order to obtain the mean width of one band. So after obtaining the mean width of one band which is beta we are now going to substitute the values in this formula and 
arrive at the thickness of the given thin paper or wire so the thickness of the given thin paper in this case is observed to be 74.34 micrometers